Well, Quax, thank you so much for uh, taking some time to talk about yourself, uh, your your music, the project. And um, so let's just start by just int introduce yourself and your your practice, your your creative work. Yeah, thank you for having me. I appreciate you guys, Batnik man. Big up yourself, Joel. Uh, my name is Quax, aka Quaxino. I am a lyricist, rapper. Um, I also do youth work. I work in the communities, putting on community projects for young people. And um, yeah, I, I feel like the Lord gave me a gift. You know, when I was young, um, he sparked a passion in me from when I was about thirteen years old. And um, it's continued with me ever since. And then tell me about the what what was the next step of the journey? What would what what would you see is like a really kind of pivotal moment in terms of, as a as a rap artist, as a as a lyricist? What what would you say kind of like made you go, okay, I want to take this more seriously? I remember being probably like I said, about 13 years old. And um I remember going to school and I was hearing different sounds. This was in the era of the Walkman, you know, people had the the tape players, the headphones. So in different pockets of the playground, everyone would be listening to their music. You'd hear it and you'd be like, what's that? And then they would tell you where, where you can hear that music. Um, back in my day, we had pri private radio stations. So I remember trying to tune in my cassette player to find this particular station. I started trying to write lyrics and rap lyrics myself to my, to my peers, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then I found like-minded individuals. So then you become part of like a little circle, a little tribe. We called it a crew back then, where we all go home, listen to the beats, write our lyrics, come back to school the next day and just socialize and just share what we've created. It, it was buzzing. That's all I could, that's the only way to describe it. It was proper buzzing, this new mm. sound in London at the time. Amazing. And yeah. in terms of your your um your inspiration now, how how much has your inspiration changed over time? Because you're talking about like Newham Generals, you're talking wow. about you know you're talking about like that that gen generation. Yeah, yeah, you still yeah, find yeah, yeah. inspiration from that generation, or like, or is it, it, it who who around you kind of gives you that energy? Okay, so then so now that's a whole different conversation. Now I'm gonna right. take it to now. Yeah. yeah. So my inspiration comes from like things closer to home now. So my 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 sons, you know, my my wife, um, I've got friends, I've got family members, you know. So it's completely changed as I'm as I'm now an adult, you know. I'm very thankful to even be alive, you know, to have a family, to have my have my kids, to see my kids grow. That's what inspires me, you know. I feel blessed by God, you know, like I can't deny God's love when I see my boys waking up, jumping around, farting and stuff like that. You know, I, I've got to give yeah. thanks. It's not easy yeah. out here. And, and so, so talk, tell us a little bit about the the project that Sputnik is funding. So the project you guys are funding is a song called Live Wire. It just sounds clean, very professional. My, my friend, Illusion, I believe God's given an amazing talent in production. You know, he's a maestro on the keyboard. And it, the beat kind of reminds me of So Solid Crew 21 Seconds from mm -hmm. 20 years ago. But we've kind of captured that kind of sound, but then pairing it with myself, who had an appreciation for that music back then, but with 20 years of experience, life experience since then. So Livewire yeah. is almost me reflecting on my journey and how God came into my life. And in the title itself, Livewire, it says it all, you know, I feel like, before God came into my life properly, before I knew him, I was like a live wire and I didn't know where I was going, where I was coming from. You know, I was just, I was like a ball of energy and I could have been utilized by the enemy to do the wrong thing. And I was being utilized by the enemy to an extent until God came and grounded me, you know, grounded me in truth, grounded me in his word. And that's why I like to say <laughs> because of him. You know, yeah, he's the one who grounded it, connected my life. Wow, and now I'm in the circuit, and now everything's flowing how it needs to flow instead of Beautiful. being all over the place. Now, yeah. tell me about um, when you, tell me about your audience because it's interesting that for some people, uh, you know, I've I spent so much time with 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 secular rappers, uh, Christian rappers, gospel rappers, but who who's your audience, and what do you kind of want them to get? from your work not just this one song but like 
Yeah, I when when I saw that question, I'm not gonna lie, you know, I was like, oh gosh, this question here, yeah, because it's a question I've asked myself for years. You know, like my 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 music is targeted at the hope hopeless at people who don't have hope. You know, because God gave me hope, you know, and He gave me a talent, and I want to use that to share the hope that He's given me with the world. You know, but not not in a in a, in authentic way. You know, not in a in a cheesy way, just in a in a in a real way, in an honest way, and also to to encourage those with hope. That's my yeah. music to encourage those with hope. You know, for them to get active on their projects. You know, for them to want to take on life and help others, show love, be grateful for for the life that they have. What's special about grime or hip hop that allows people to just talk about faith? And it seems like people are are accept that and see that okay, this person's being authentic. Because I'm just saying, Christian faith is 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 perceived as mainstream. If you've got Kanye, you've got uh, Kendrick or Stormzy as rap as as rappers speaking about faith. I know it's a big question. <laughs> no, it's a it's a it's a it's a very interesting question, a very deep question. I'll be honest, I'll take my hat off to Stormzy for sharing his faith in the way that he shared his faith because I feel like Stormzy was a lot more vulnerable than I have ever been in his music. He had the favour already before talking about God and the way he did it in such a vulnerable way, like Blinded by Your Grace, it was amazing, the impact, you know? Mm. And, and I, like, I believe God had his hand on Stormzy in that, you know? Hip hop is unapologetic, you know. Grime is unapologetic. So, just, just, just with that as a factor, that allows a lot of people to be able to say what they want to say, you know, on those type of beats. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had we've had little Nas X, you know, mm -hmm. rapping what he wants to rap. We've had little Uzi Vert rapping about what he wants to rap about. And then we've got the novelist, you know, we've got the manga, St. Hilaire's, you know, who who have a faith and, and they're not ashamed to say it. And 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 there's never been such a healthier time right now for artists to express themselves. I I make Christian music, yeah. That's how I would describe it, yeah. Because I'm a Christian and I make the music. Mm -hmm. But majority of my fans aren't Christians. Mm. The yeah, feedback I get from people. It's not they're not necessarily Christians, which is really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a that's a great thing. That's a great place to be. Can you can you talk about a little bit about um just like themes or concepts that are reoccurring in your in your work? Is there, are there yeah. certain things that you find yourself rapping about over and yeah. over again? Yeah. God God worked on me. God worked on me. So I was living a negative lifestyle, selling drugs, robbing you know, like, treat your girls wrong, you know, just disrespectful, I had anger, you know, and um, God showed me love, you know, because I was facing jail, and I cried out to him, because he knew I didn't want to live the lifestyle, the lifestyle that I was living, I hated, I hated myself, I couldn't even look myself in the mirror by the end of it, because every wow. day I was thinking wow, yeah. of, who am I going to abuse, who am I going to negatively affect today, that was my oh. mindset every day, yeah, he provided me a way out. I was facing jail. The judge said, if you ever come back to me, you're going straight to jail. And um, wow. I managed to get out of my little area by God's grace. And that's when I started working with young people because I knew that young people were going to be thinking how I thought. And I didn't want young people to be making the same steps I was making. So I thought the only way to do that is by getting where the young people are. So that's when I started looking for that youth worker roles. So that's how, you know, God kind of worked on my heart mm. almost in a year of me going from being a drug dealer, literally a year later, I was working with young people. And then um, whilst I've been doing music, I have been doing youth work heavy for the last eight to eight years, you know? And um, my dream was always to do music. But, but the way God designed my life, was so that I can glorify him in the music, but also help young people and save young people from a path of 
misery what I went down, you know. And you know, the Bible talks about God not wasting anything, you know, and I, mm. I'm so grateful that He's using the years that I was wasting, you know, to add to my whole community. Yeah, not yeah. Just my family. You, you know? can re you can absolutely empathize because you've been yes. There. Yes, fully, that, fully, fully empathize. Yeah, yes, and that's a reoccurring, that's a reoccurring subject in my music. Then, obviously, because because mm -hmm. of my life and the circle my life's gone on, in my music, I talk about what it was like before God, what it's been like since I got God. Mm. You know what it was like when I was lost, how it's been like since I've been found, and you know I'm not gonna lie to you. I wrote about it so much, Joel. I hated it. I'm like God. I need a new song now. I need a new, new subject matter to talk about because I'm sick and tired of talking about the street now. I've talked mm -hmm. about it. I've and 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 this is where Livewire, you know, Livewire. That's that's not just a song. That's a project. So it's like God's given me all these different projects, and I need to get them out. So then I can then I can think about the new. The new song. Like, Cause I want to talk about the family life. I want to talk about I've been married now for one year, but we've been together 12 years. It's been hard. I haven't really spoke about that in the music, you know? Mm. I've not written one love song. I've not really written a song about my kids, but my kids are everything to me, you know? So that's what's to come. Yeah. But right now, Live Wire, that is basically the, the essence of what God's done for me in my life. From negative to positive you know and, and not to say we don't still have negatives i lost a family member three weeks ago one of my family members was found in the canal you know wow. committing suicide yeah man rest in peace to my uncle man like he, he was a believer as well you know so it's like when when things like that happen in your life like something i never thought would happen like i'm not gonna lie like i was challenged my faith was challenged you know but he is faithful and yeah yeah, there's no. there's an there's a kind of the you kind of bump your head up against the mysteries and you can't there's yes. all you can do is just cry out to God and say, um, even in 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 anguish, I don't I don't understand this. But the question Straight. is trust. Trust like yes, what's God's track what's God's track record in our lives and like can Come we on, trust? Bro. Come yeah. on, bro. Well, I I am... Um, I'm like in ma massive anticipation of all this. This sounds great. Um, Appreciate. It. Thank you for for telling us about your life and and your work. And yeah, let's let's see what happens next. Yeah, man. No, thank you as well, Joe. Man, big up for connected. And yeah, I look forward to maybe connecting in the future as well, bro. For sure. That sounds. Good.